And as of late last night, and I just got some numbers from my team, uh, SMMEs had signed up to 600 million rands uh, of, fi- of concessionary financing to support employees, uh, in supporting some 55,000 employees. So uh, at the moment, it looks like basically SMMEs are signing up roughly uh, 100 million rand a day. And I suspect by the end of this week, we will be pretty much fully committed at 1.12 billion rand. And why is it 1.12 billion rand, not 1 billion rand? Well, uh, about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, my father and I, when we realized how efficient this, this channel that we had imagined was, was actually proving to be, uh, reached out uh, to people we knew and asked if anybody else might want to support it as well. And we've had uh, some extraordinary support from other PBOs, uh, individuals, and, and, and some corporates. And we've uh, so far been able to raise an additional 120 million rand. Uh, we, uh, we as a trust, that's the South Africa Future Trust, remain open uh, to additional donations. Uh, we would love to not only be able to support the 100,000 odd people that we're supporting, we would love to be able to support more of the industry who desperately needs this, this financial uh, stimulants and to ensure that so many of these people who fall outside the social security net, fall outside UIF registration, fall outside access to, to NGO and community-based food programs, uh, can continue to access uh, the existing commercial channels and, and ensure that they can, they can access the really, really important necessities to survive, most particularly food. There's one other thing that I've forgotten to mention to date, which is, uh, as we imagined this, and because we were lending the money to the SMMEs, we had to think about uh, the South Africa Future Trust beyond COVID. And our intention here is that the South Africa Future Trust, as it receives back uh, principal from the SMMEs that survive, so we expect significant losses, but we would also expect significant amount of money to come back to us, will morph itself into a, a fully independent development agency uh, focused on South African small and medium-sized uh, enterprise development and will pursue all the natural things that uh, development agencies support. It will become potentially subject to us getting authorization from the credit regulator, a, a lending institution. It will support programs for training. It will support programs for infrastructure extension. It will support programs for, for support of SMMEs. And uh, that will carry on until the 31st of December 2040, whereupon the trust will have to wind itself down. So it's, the idea is to use the money that we have uh, returned to the trust post the COVID crisis to uh, aggressively work in the development space in South Africa through to the end of 2040. So we have a purpose beyond COVID as well. Um, I think I've pretty much exhausted myself. Uh, I'm sure I haven't been as clear as I'd like to be, but uh, hopefully that gives you an idea about what the South Africa Future Trust is about and uh, what we've been able to achieve in this incredibly short time.